Hey everybody, so it's time to continue along with our season previews and today we are up to the Florida Panthers. So um, Florida just missed out on the playoffs last year. Um, had a really, really good second half of the season. Um, made a late surge but just couldn't sneak into a playoff spot. This season I fully expect them to be a playoff team. Um, this is a very good young team, an up-and-coming team. A lot of talent in Florida. Um, I, I don't think they're up at the level of, say, Tampa Bay, but they're still a very good team, and uh, I, I expect them to make the playoffs this year. So let's take a look at their roster, see what they're working with here, and uh, talk about Flo the Florida Panthers. So... Here we go with the Panthers roster. The top line, uh, Dadanov, Barkov, and Bugstad. Second line, newcomer Mike Hoffman, Vincent Trocek, and Jonathan Huberdo. Jared McCann, Denny Mulgan, and uh, Jamie McGinn make up your third line. And your fourth line, Michael Haley, Derek McKenzie, and Colton Sevier. Defensively, their top pair is Keith Yandel and Aaron Ekblad. Second pair is Matheson and Pissick. And your third pair is Mac Wieger and Alex Petrovich. And your goaltender duo is Luongo and Reimer. Um, I don't know which one of those which one of those two are gonna end up being the starter. Both of them could potentially be starters. So um, expect to see a, both of those goalies quite a bit this season in Florida. Extra players, you have Frank Vitrano, Troy Brower as forwards, and then Ian McCoshin is your uh, seventh defenseman. So, overall, pretty, pretty good team here. Um, I think Vitrano or Brower can probably play in certain situations over Michael Haley. Uh, Haley's your tough guy, but this is a very tough team. Florida led the league in fighting majors last year by a lot. It wasn't even close. Like, I think they had 15 or 20 fight more fights than the, even the second place team as far as fighting majors go. So this is a very tough team and a franchise that has really developed that identity this past, it was really came out of nowhere last season. Um, but with Bob Bugner as the coach and they've clearly decided that they're going to be a tough team. And uh, they certainly were last year, and they certainly look like they're going to be again. Haley's your main tough guy, though. He had 22 fights last year, um, way more than anyone else in the league, blew everyone else away. I say Haley probably plays less games this year as the just because the roster is a little more talented. But uh, he's still going to see the ice plenty, and he's certainly going to have a good number of fights this year. But Vitrano or Brower can slide into that spot. Also, but if you know if you're playing a team that's not overly tough, like a Carolina or someone like that, you're gonna play Vitrano in in Haley's spot. There's no point in playing Michael Haley against teams like that. Um, Mike Hoffman coming in was traded um, well from San Jose. He was traded from Ottawa to San Jose, and then immediately from San Jose to Florida. Um, Hoffman, getting him out of... He's a very good player. Getting him out of Ottawa is going to be really good for him. Um, getting him away from the whole Eric Carlson situation and what went on between those two. Um, I think Hoffman's going to have a big year this year and it's going to look really, really good for the Panthers because now he can just focus on scoring goals. And he doesn't have to be... a In Ottawa, it was him and Mark Stone to score goals and that was pretty much it. Um... Now he's surrounded by talent, and there are a lot of good players on this Florida team. So Hoffman doesn't have to be the number one goal scorer. He can just settle into a second-line role and focus on playing as well as he can and putting the puck in the net. I'm, I'm thinking Hoffman has a really big year this year. Um, their, top, their top six overall is very, very good. And I think it's very underrated, especially at center. Barkov and Trocek is a fantastic one-two punch at center. And in a, in a division where you have um, Stamkos and Point in um, Tampa Bay, Bergeron and Krejci in Boston, Matthews and Tavares in, in uh, Toronto, you have a division here with a lot of good one-two punches at center. 
This Barkov and Trocek is very, very good, and they are really underrated and fly under the radar because of those other high-profile centers in the division. But Barkov can play with anybody. Trocek can play with anybody. Um, I really like their one-two punch it down the middle. Um, they've got some really good goal-scoring wingers. Dadanov, Hoffman, Bugstad, and Huberdeau all can put the puck in the net. Um, uh, the... Their bottom six is mostly grit and grind, and they're very tough. Um, McCann is uh, a good young player who hasn't really come into his own offensively in the NHL yet, but um, he, he's certainly a hard worker and willing to grind along the wall. Um, McGinn, he's a board play guy, go to the net type of guy. Their fourth line, you know, Haley's extremely tough. McKenzie's a, I mean, the ultimate hard worker. Sevier plays physical. I'm a li the only question I guess about this team up front is can they get secondary scoring? They are very reliant on their top six for scoring. These guys rack up the points. They need some form of offense from this bottom six. If they can get that, they are going to be in really really good shape. Um, but they do seem a little top heavy offensively. On the back end, they're they're pretty good. They're very young, but they're they're very good. Yandel is the vet, the grizzled vet at this point. He's been around the league for a long time, but he's still a very very good defenseman. He's playing with Aaron Ekblad, who is a fantastic young up and coming defenseman. Who's really you know Ekblad Ekblad's been around for a few years now, so he should really be coming into his own at this point and and really starting to play like a number one defenseman. Um, Matheson and Pissick are two very solid young players. And then you have some good toughness on that bottom pair with Petrovic and Uyghur. Both are young guys, but both are very physical players. Petrovic has been willing to fight pretty much his whole career. Uyghur got in a couple of scraps last year. Overall, this is a very tough team, very, um, very solid team, very physical team. Um, again, in goal... They have two starting goal goalies. Um, Luongo, I mean, even though he's up there in age now, he's still a very, very good starting goaltender. Staying healthy has been a bit of an issue, but they have Reimer who can come in and play just as well as, as a good starter in the league. So they, I'm not worried about them in goal as long as they're healthy in goal. Um, I, like, I, like, I really like this team overall. Um, I think that they... Certainly ha should be a playoff team this year, building off what they did last year, and they should just keep on getting better. It's going to be hard for them to contend with the top of that division, given how good Tampa Bay, Toronto, and Boston all seem to be. But they, without a doubt, should be a wild card team. So I'm expecting playoffs for the Panthers this year. I expect them to be a very physical team, um, a very tough team. And uh, they certainly will stick up for each other. They proved that last year. I think they're solid across the board in all facets of the game. The only question, I guess, would be secondary scoring. But uh, if they can get some of that, they are in very, very good shape. So the, overall, this is a quality NHL team. And um, I really like what they're doing down in Florida. So let me know what you think about the Panthers down in the comment section below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are down in the description. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching and talk to you guys soon.